In this video, we're going to complete example two, and we're going to fill in a president's table to show the order in which we complete a particular project. And this particular project involves building a computer. Now, in order for you to understand this example, it's important that you understand a few of the processes involved when building a computer. So I'm going to go over that now. The first thing we need to do is we need to install a few things onto the motherboard. The RAM stick here needs to click into the motherboard and we need to take the CPU and put it into the CPU socket on the motherboard. We also need to put this fan on the motherboard. This fan needs to go on top of the CPU, which means that the CPU needs to go on the motherboard before the fan. Once we've put these components here onto the motherboard, the motherboard then needs to be screwed into the case. And once we've done that, there's actually a power cable that plugs into the motherboard. Finally, we need to install the DVD drive and the hard drive into the case. And once we've done that, we just need to connect some cables to the DVD drive and the hard drive. And finally, we screw the cover on the case once all the components have been installed. So let's look at our president's table here. We've got a list of all our activities here. Question A wants us to fill in the immediate predecessors column. So we're just going to fill in the blanks here right now. You might remember that the first thing that needs to happen is that the RAM and the CPU need to be installed on the motherboard. Now, it doesn't matter which one you install first. It could be the RAM or the CPU first. So looking at our president's table, activities A and B involve installing the RAM and the CPU. And because they are installed first, they do not have any immediate predecessors. So we put a dash there. Now moving on to activity C, we want to install the fan. And remember that we're doing that on top of the CPU. So activity B, installing the CPU, needs to occur before activity C, meaning that activity B is the immediate predecessor of activity C. Now moving on to activity D where we screw the motherboard into the case. Now you can't screw the motherboard into the case until the first three components have been put onto the motherboard. That means that in order for activity D to occur, activities A, B and C must have occurred previously. So these are the predecessors of D activities A, B, and C. Now, one of these does not have to be written down, and the one we don't need to write down is activity B. The reason for this is we already mentioned that if we've completed activity C, then we've already completed activity B. So by saying that activity C has been completed, it's implied that activity B has been completed and we don't need to write it down. Next, we need to complete activity E. We need to attach the power cable to the motherboard. We can't do that until we've screwed the motherboard into the case. So we need to say that the immediate predecessor of activity E is activity D. Now moving on to activity F, we are told we need to screw the DVD drive into the case. So let's look back at our diagram. We've installed the motherboard into the case, and we now need to install the DVD drive and the hard disk drive. It doesn't matter the order in which you install these two drives, but we can't do it until the motherboard has been installed and the power cable has been plugged in. So in order for us to screw the DVD drive into the case, we need to make sure that activities D and E have been completed. Now, I don't have to write down both D and E, I only have to write E as my immediate predecessor because if activity E has occurred, it's implied that activity D has occurred also. Now moving on to activity G, screwing the hard drive into the case. Remember back at our diagram, the DVD drive or the hard disk drive 
can be installed into the case in any order. So in order to screw the hard drive into the case, we only need to make sure that the motherboard and the power cable have been attached, remembering that we only need to write down our immediate predecessor as E, because if E has occurred, it's implied that D has occurred anyway. Now moving on to activity H, we want to attach cables to the DVD drive. Now before we can attach cables to the DVD drive, we need to make sure that the DVD drive is screwed in, which is activity F. And for activity I, we need to attach cables to the hard drive. In order to do that, we need to be sure that the hard drive has been screwed into the case, which is activity G. And finally, activity J, we want to screw the cover on the case. Now, before we can screw the cover on the case, we need to be sure that all previous activities have occurred. You don't screw the cover on the case until all the components have been installed. Now, I don't have to list all activities from A through to I. The only two activities I need to list down are activities H and activity I. Now, the reason we only need to list these two activities is because if activities H and I have occurred, then by implication, activities F and G have occurred also. If activities F and G have occurred, then by implication, activity E has occurred also. If activity E has occurred, then by implication, activity D has occurred. If activity D has occurred, then by implication, activities A and C have occurred. And if activities A and C have occurred, then by implication, activity B has occurred, which means that all activities have occurred. Now finally we need to finish questions B and C. Question B says how many activities are in this project? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we'll write down there are 10 activities. And then finally for question C, it says what is slash R? the immediate predecessor or predecessors for activity D. And when we look at activity D, it has two immediate pre predecessors, activities A and C. So that's our answer for question C, A and C. Anyway, that concludes our video on example two. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.